Hi friends, today's video we're going to do a product review video on this new Bachmann Silver Series 55 foot steel coil car. This car is brand new, just came in the mail a couple of days ago, so it's something that Bachmann just released. We're going to take an up close look at it with the video camera and explain all of the different uh, details that we're finding about this car. Uh, before we get into that, uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, go ahead and click the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with uh, the initial unboxing like we always do. Pretty standard uh, model box here. And then there's uh, no paperwork inside there, so it's just the model in the packaging. It does have a note here that says uh, the steel coil is packaged separately. It's on the reverse side of the blister pack. And sure enough, the steel coil loads are back here. So we'll go ahead and take them out of there now. Set those aside, and we will take off the, the lid from the blister pack. We just got a little tape there to hold that on. So here we've got the car. Uh, there's no uh, clear uh, clear sheet or anything like that. So to take it out, just carefully lean that over, and then it's it's uh, right there in your hand. I will say, just from initially holding this model, I could tell it's pretty lightweight, but the um, Steel coils have a little bit of weight, so I'm guessing once you put those uh, inside the car, then it will probably be pretty close to the NMRA standard. Uh, the initial look here, if we look up kind of close, uh, we will see that well, a lot of the details are molded on. All of these handrails all molded into the hood. Uh, the uh, grab irons right here, they're all molded in flip it upside down. Even the, uh, the air tank is uh, molded into the frame. Uh, all of that piping and rigging, it's all just molded on. There's no separately applied uh, detail parts anywhere on there. So that's a little disappointing. Um, but, I mean, the paint is, uh, is smooth. Lettering is also smooth. And it's a modern car updated with the uh, yellow reflective safety stripes there. Uh, all of the lettering appears crisp. The logo looks like a normal Union Pacific logo. The hoods do come off, so we can take those off and set them aside. And there is uh, some nice rivet detail that's inside the floor of the car, where the coils would go. Uh, it does have a brake wheel. It has the, uh, the chain is molded onto the brake wheel frame there, so... Uh, looks like everything is just molded on. There's no separately applied detail. There is some uh, diamond plate tread, or not diamond plate tread, but there is uh, some tread walkway detail there, but that's also molded on. It's not see-through, it's not etched metal, anything like that. Uh, there's a, some additional grab irons here on the end, and they're also uh, molded on and otherwise oversized. So, I mean, that's pretty disappointing for a car that... Uh, the MSRP manufacturer suggested retail price is $72. Uh, thankfully, you can find these at most hobby shops for uh, much less than that. I got mine for around $40 from my local hobby shop. Um, but $72 is MSRP, so uh, they're, they're suggesting that their product is a premium product through the price. And it's definitely not a premium product as far as the detail is concerned. Alright, so I do notice that the uh, the trucks on the car are not exactly like what the prototype might have. Uh, if we can see right here, uh, right, maybe like that, you can see how the uh, the trucks do. Uh, they're a barber design. Barber, I don't know the different types of trucks. They are 100 ton, ton trucks because they've got the three springs, but a, a slightly different casting than what uh, would probably be on the prototype today. Uh, an example is an Atherton Blue Box. Uh, truck we can see right there. And, uh, I think that that's uh, able to see there. He has a little more uh, different design to the uh, the truck side frame. And if we look at a prototype photograph that I found on the internet, uh, there's the truck that uh, would be on a similar car, very close in number to our sample here. So um, 
you know the trucks aren't exactly right but they'll they'll work uh, if we go ahead and check the uh, wheel gauge uh, with our NMRA gauge uh, already that wheel is too far in way too narrow uh, we check that one that's a little narrow check here uh, that one is narrow That one too is way narrow. So all, all four axles are very narrow. Uh, they'll have to be pulled off and adjusted. But they are metal wheels, so that's a, uh, a nice touch over the days of uh, plastic wheels. So I like that. Uh, it does have Bachman um, knuckle couplers with the knuckle spring in there. So uh, you know the couplers will work, but you may want to replace those with a, a metal knuckle car or metal knuckle coupler. Okay, so that's all I can tell you about the body here. We're going to go ahead and um, put that on the scale both with and without these loads. So let me go ahead and open this packing, packing up. So all these steel coils are uh, separate or loose. So they just fit uh, right down in the car like this. And then we will measure the car and see what it's supposed to weigh and then put it on our scale. So this being a 55 foot scale long car, without the hoods, go ahead and put the scale ruler down here and we'll check that against that. We have uh, over the coupler, uh, actually to the draft gear box boxes not over the cup or over the draft gear box we have exactly 55 feet so it is at least uh, got a scale length like that so that's good uh, that means it is a one, two three four five six seven about we'll just say seven seven inch long car no hoods but with the load putting our uh, scale up here so the um, NMRA standard is um, we go here we can see that the standard for HO scale is uh, one ounce initially and then a half ounce for each inch of car length. So that's uh, three and a half, that's four and a half ounces is what it should weigh. Put our car on here and we are pretty light at only three ounces. Let me move that up so you guys can see better. Yep, three ounces with the load. Let's go ahead and put the uh, hoods on there. That'll improve it a little bit. Well, I have the hoods on there if you can't see the load. So that gets us to three and a half. Uh, that's an ounce short, one ounce short. There's, uh, I didn't see any weight uh, on the model at all. Uh, there may be something uh, underneath uh, this uh, the frame. I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of screws. You could take it apart and look. But... Uh, doesn't feel like there's any weight in the car itself so it's just simply the plastic and the um, the load and the hoods uh, so I mean it's a little on the light side um, but you know at the back of a train where there's not a whole lot of weight pulling behind it it would probably be okay um, so that's all I can tell you all right the last area of this car that we're going to inspect up close is the coupler height I've got my uh, KD coupler height gauge and I've got the car on a piece of test track so we can check the proper height of the trip pins the trip pins of the knuckle or the face of the knuckle and the trip pins as well uh, looks like the the coupler is the coupler is accurate on that end and get my gauge on the track there uh, it appears that it is it is to the standard at both ends so at least the coupler is uh, set to the right height that's it for this video uh, close look at this car uh, from up close the details are severely lacking and so for a premium priced car at um, $72 suggested price, uh, typical hobby shop price going to be somewhere between $40 and $50. Uh, for that, I can go buy a, an Atherin Genesis car that's got um, an exceptional level of detail 
or a scale trains car or anything like that. So for the price, it's lacking in a lot of detail. No air hoses, no coupler bars, no separately applied details at all. It's all molded on. Uh, on top of that, it's an ounce light uh, from the NMRA standard gauge. And there's not really anywhere to add any weight unless you wanted to put maybe some in the hood. And then you'd have your hood on the car, but then you're not able to see uh, the, the steel coil load or anything like that. So um, I'm going to say that this car is probably, in my personal opinion, um, not exactly worth the price, uh, but if you really want a steel coil car and this is what's available on the market, then uh, by all means, uh, indulge yourself. It will do it will do the job on your layout, I'm sure. Uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and leave some comments down below on what your thoughts on this car are and if you've purchased one yourself. See you guys on the next video.